All right, here I'm going over how do you model third degree price discrimination. And this is actually fairly simple. Um, so basically, if you start out with a classic um, monopoly model profit maximization problem, it's going to look like this. Okay, so um, the monopoly is choosing price and their revenue is price times quantity, where quantity is a function of price. And of course, this thing right here, this price quantity relationship, that is a demand curve. I meant demand function. If, uh, I mean, it'll be a curve if you graph it, but yeah, that's a demand function, which is always a relationship between price and quantity. Um, and then minus costs, and costs are a function of the quantity, and of course, quantity is a function of price. So that's just a classic... Um, profit maximization problem. Now, all you do for third degree price discrimination is you say, okay, I can charge a different price for the two groups. And it's because I believe these two groups have different demand functions for my product. So um, you might have um, a senior citizen price and a normal price, a regular price. So we're gonna have two prices, senior citizen price, regular price. That means our demand functions have to be in relation to those. So we just add subscripts we just add subscripts throughout the problem. Watch this. All right, that, that's it. Um, it's literally just price for senior citizens times quantity for senior citizens, which is a function of price for senior citizens. And this is the demand function that senior citizens have for the product. And then the cost structure, of course, costs depend on quantity, which depends on price. Um, plus, this is revenue from senior citizens minus cost of senior citizens plus revenue of regular people, which is price of regular people, a trace variable, times quantity that you sell for regular people, um, uh, which is a function of price of regular people. So this is the demand function of regular people times the price you're charging regular people. That's the revenue from regular people minus the cost of regular people. So that is literally it. That, that's all it is. Um, modeling price discrimination at the third degree is super, super easy.